Hi Pisces, I'm Jennifer. Just going to shuffle the cards a few times here and get the energy going into them. What's happening with Pisces spirits? Okay, one more shuffle, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, let's find out what's going on here. Okay, so we have the death card, but the death card can also be a rebirth. So we'll clarify and find out what's happening. We have the lovers, Gemini energy. There's a connection here that could be ending or there could be a rebirth to this connection. I feel like it's a rebirth with the Five of Cups here. This is someone not living in the moment, feeling sad, feeling a sense of loss, focused on the past. Yeah, I feel like you're up in your head about a connection here that's coming to an end. I have the Nine of Cups. There, there's a lot of love in this connection. This is someone that you have a lot of love for. And so I'm seeing you feeling sad here over this loss. Eight of Swords, like your hands are tied. There's nothing you can do about it. You're feeling blindfolded. Page of Cups. It's like when pigs fly, there's a pig up here trying to fly. That's what you're thinking. Six of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. You're moving away from a difficult time, Pisces, into very calm, peaceful times. You're leaving the hard times behind you and moving into the Queen of Pentacles energy. This is stability, um, just feeling comfortable. Why is the death card here, spirits? Let's clarify your cards, Pisces. The Five of Swords. The High Priestess. Someone was keeping secrets and you know it. And you're standing up for yourself. You're using your intuition. And um, it's like there's financial gain coming in with the Nine of Pentacles. And the Ten of Cups. It's going to give you complete emotional fulfillment. I'm seeing you, like, ending something. You're ending someone just being in your ear, saying things. Why is the, the lover's hair? The Page of Pentacles. There's someone here rushing in to tell you some type of truth with the Knight of Swords. There's truth coming in. And um, a new start with equal give and take. Page of Pentacles. This is someone that could be younger than you. They don't have to be. Why is the Five of Cups here? I have the Magician, the Two of Wands, and the Three of Wands. 
someone's coming back with truth and an apology. They want equal give and take. But you, you know, you've been sad. But I'm seeing you turning, turning around. It's like you're manifesting something new into your life. You're manifesting something here. You're waiting for a new ship to, to come in. You've turned your back on the past. You've gone too far. It's like you're ready to start a new path now. Why is the Nine of Swords here? You've got an ex here who really is stuck in their head about you. They keep thinking about you all the time. It's like they're looking at things differently now. They're wanting to offer you it all. And this is an ex, a soulmate connection. Why is the Nine of Cups here? This is someone who sees you now as a wish fulfillment. Someone who is probably being selfish. Someone that put you in a three-party situation. But I'm seeing you here protecting yourself. You're in a bubble right here in the Seven of Wands energy. You're protecting yourself from this person. And I'm seeing them coming back wanting to reconcile, but you're not interested. You are bored of this person now it's like you want your ten of cups this person is giving you like three cups and so i'm seeing you healing i'm seeing healing happening here from this three of swords why is the eight of swords here Seeing you here now, Pisces, it's like you're looking at other op options. It's like from going from feeling like your hands are tied, look at your hands in this picture and feeling blindfolded. You're throwing your hands up in the air and being recognized. This is victory, success. <clears throat> And <clears throat> look at all the options you have. It's like you're recognizing this. You're taking off the blindfold. And I feel like you're working on your money right now. You're working on your stability. And it's coming in for you. I'm seeing complete victory and success. Why is Page of Cups here? Justice could be dealing with the Libra. I'm seeing you doing something that you really care about from the heart. It's like something that you really care about, but you don't think it's going to be what it's actually going to turn into. And you taking a leap of faith in the fool energy and justice is coming in. It's like the universe is behind you on this. You have help from the universe. Why is the Six of Swords here? There's new love coming in. The Seven of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Strength. Yeah, that Ten of Pentacles wanted to come out. This is financial gain. It's like there's a new connection showing up here in your life. There's new love. See, I'm seeing you here having the courage and the strength. I feel like it's taking a lot of courage to move away from something and take a leap of faith. There's a leap of faith here that needs to be made. And it's kind of like you just have to pick up what you can and go. 
I think the Seven of Swords is you in this reading. You're picking up what you can and you're leaving. You could be moving. doesn't have to be. But you're moving into calmer water. You're freeing yourself. And receiving blessings are coming in for you. There's also new love here. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor. And I keep seeing people helping you here. It's like there's going to be people here to help you. You may not realize it right now. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. You're making head over heart decisions, Pisces, and you're holding on to it. You're not letting go. You're holding on to these blessings. You're not letting go of them. Because the wheel of fortune's turning in your favor and you know it. And you end in this Queen of Pentacles energy, which is I'm seeing you be feeling very free. Yeah, you're taking control of your life. And the Emperor energy, you're building a stable foundation. You're, I see you like you could be opening up your own company or something. Or moving up in a company. But see, there's a perfect match showing up for you here in the future. I have the King and the Queen of Swords. Seeing someone here that thinks like you. That understands you. But you don't see everything right now Pisces. Because it's like the moon is showing up here. Which is your energy. Um, you're not seeing everything right now. And so you may be feeling kind of worried right now, which I'm seeing you feeling worried, but this is going to leave you. They're telling you to look for the answers, to meditate, contemplate, look for the answers from within, and I'm seeing them coming out. There's like a wish fulfillment coming in for you. It comes from within. There's something here that you need to do. I feel like you need to do it alone. The Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. This is you. Like um, there's a commitment here that you're that you're really focused on. It's like you're really going down a path. You're following a path. Some type of a commitment that you have. I feel like it's with yourself. Because I'm seeing you here healing. Taking time out to heal. Okay, so let's get us a Moonology card. What does Pisces need to know, Spirits? Okay, I just need to shuffle. Make sure we have the energy flowing through here. One more time, Pisces. What does Pisces need to know, spirits? The energy is gaining momentum. And a time for healing. This healing, this taking a time out and healing is bringing answers. A fiery climax approaches. And expect powerful change. As soon as you take a leap of faith towards something, I'm seeing like powerful change is happening. Okay, and then ask a question, Pisces. I'm going to shuffle the deck. We'll use the angel answers. 
and see if we can get an answer to your question. These are general reading Pisces, so I know a lot of you understand, uh, know that, but some there's a few people that don't. So use your intuition, Pisces, and ask a question. What does Pisces need to know, spirits? Okay, we have romance. What does Pisces need to know? And there's something that you need to get more information on. And they're saying to ask your angels. Okay, Pisces. So these are the messages I have for you from Spirit. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing and all of your comments. And I send you lots of love and light. Bye, Pisces.